All right, so in this video, we're gonna be doing some cylindrical shell problems. These are gonna be medium difficulty. Last video was easy difficulty. So these are just gonna be a little bit harder because we're gonna be rotating about a line that is not going to be the y-axis or the x-axis, okay? So our first problem, find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating about the line x equals three, the region bounded by y equals x cubed, y equals eight, and x equals zero. So let's start out by drawing what we're talking about here. We have our axes, we have y equals x cubed, we have y equals eight, we have x equals zero, all right? So that's our region right here, okay? Uh, we can draw y equals eight, we can say that that's that, x equals zero, y equals x cubed, and we're rotating about x equals three. So now we know our region is that little area right here. We can find our volume by doing cylindrical shells. That's gonna be the integral from, remember our formula is a to b, two pi uh, r times height times the thickness, which is delta r, okay? Now, since we are rotating around a vertical line, okay, we know that we're gonna be integrating with respect to x, okay? So now we need to find those x coordinates. Now that's not gonna be zero to three because our region only extends from zero to whatever this point is right here, okay? And how are we gonna find that point? Well, what's the x coordinate here? That's going to be whatever x is uh, at, well, x cubed is at eight. So x cubed equals eight. We need to find x. So we take the cube root of both sides we get x is equal to two, okay? That's how we find x. So we know that this point is two. We're integrating from zero to two, two pi times what's going to be our radius. Now, our radius isn't going to be y or x because we are not going to be revolving around, we're not revolving around the y-axis or the x-axis. So our radius is going to be a little harder to find, but still, this isn't going to be impossible, okay? so. Let's think about what's happening here. We're taking our cuts, okay? These are going to be our little cylinders. And when we revolve them around, you see we get a bunch of like hollow cylinders, okay? So what's that radius going to be? Well, we know that the distance from the origin to these cylinders, all right, is x, right? That distance is x. But our distance from zero to three is going to be three, right? Our distance from here, to here is three. So if we wanna find the distance marked in blue here, which is going to be our radius, right? It's gonna be R. Our, our radius is just going to be three minus X, okay? So we write down as our radius three minus X. Now our height is also going to be a little difficult. Okay, our height isn't just going to be X cubed because notice that we're not taking the height, the height is not the distance from x cubed to the x-axis, so we can't say x cubed. We're trying to find the height from here to here. That's our distance. We're trying to find the distance from between those two points. So we can do that same thing again that we just did. Our distance from here to here, that's x cubed, right? Our total distance is 8 so if we do eight minus x cubed, we're gonna get that distance, okay? So we have eight minus x cubed, we're integrating with respect to x, so we have a dx there, all right? So now we can FOIL this out, so we're gonna get two pi times three times eight is 24, uh, negative eight times, sorry, negative x times eight is eight, negative eight x, we have a negative three x cubed, and we have a plus x to the fourth dx. All right, this is gonna be equal to volume equals two pi. Uh, this is going to, now we can integrate here. It's gonna get 24 X minus four uh, X squared plus three over three X to the fourth over four plus X to the fifth over five. Evaluated from zero to two. And now we know that the zero, the zero is just gonna kill everything off. The two, we can put that in and then we're gonna get our answer. We get volume equals two pi times. 
we get a 24 times 2, all right? And actually, I can just, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in as 48. Um, 24 times 2 is 48. We have a minus 4 times x squared, all right? x2 squared is going to be uh, 4, so we multiply that by 4 and get 16. Next, we have a 2 to the 4th. That is 16 times 3 gives you 48 over 4 gives you 12. So we get a, oops, that's supposed to be a minus sign. That's going to get a minus 12. And then you get plus x to the 5th over 5. That's going to be plus 32 over 5. All right, so now we can just figure out what your 48 minus 16 minus 12 is going to be. We know that's 2 pi times, well, that's going to be uh, negative 16 minus 12 is going to be uh, negative 28. And subtract that from 48, that's going to be 20. So 20 plus 32 over 5 is going to be inside the parentheses. We take out a uh, over 5 there. We get 2 pi over 5 times. We have a 20 times 5 here, which is going to be 100 plus 32. Okay, so we're going to get a 2 pi over 5 times 132, which is going to give us 264 pi over 5. All right, so legit, I mean, the only, the only part that was calc 2 is just this part right here. If you can set this up, you did your calc 2. Now it's calc one. That's really it. And of course you have your graph too. That is also uh, calc two. All right. So that's, that's basically it for the problem. Okay. The hardest part is finding your radius and finding your height. And of course, I mean, graphing the problem can have its difficulties as well. All right. So we have our next problem up here. Find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating about the line X equals one the region bounded by y equals 4x minus x squared and y equals 3. So the hardest part about this problem, honestly, is just graphing it because most Calc 2 classes are not going to allow you to use your graphing calculator. So you got to figure out how to know what your bounds are going to be and where your region even is. Okay, so if we have a 4x minus x squared graph here, I mean, you really don't know what that 4x is going to do unless, I mean, unless you do, great, great. Um, I don't. So, it's probably, it's going to be like some horizontal shift. But I know that this minus x squared, all right, that means we're going to have an upside down parabola, okay? So, we're going to have something like this, okay? And we know we have a y equals 3 line here. So, we're going to get something like this, okay? Now, we need to figure out, okay, we need to figure out where this, this parabola is going to intersect y equals 3, okay, because I don't know where on the x-axis these guys are intersecting, but I do know they are intersecting, or else we would not have a region bounded between these two lines, okay? So if we set 4x minus x squared equal to 3, and we can add x squared, uh, just so we have a positive x squared, and subtract 4x, we can get that 0 equals x squared minus 4x plus 3. And we are going to set up our little x here. Um, this is my own factoring trick. Uh, negative 4 and a 3, so we want two numbers to add to be negative 4, and they multiply to be 3. Uh, that's going to be uh, negative 1 and negative 3. So we get 0 equals x minus 1, x minus 3, x equals 1, x equals 3. So we know that these points are intersecting at x equals 1 and x equals 3. So we can redraw this graph. Oops. We can redraw this graph to be like this. So we know that it's going to do something like this. All right, and our region is going to be right here. And our line of rotation is actually going to be right there. Okay, so that's x equals 1, x equals 0. And then we have y equals 4x minus x squared right there. And this is y equals 3. Okay, 
So now that we've graphed and we found our region, now we can actually do cylindrical shells, okay? And cylindrical shells aren't going to be too, too hard right here. All right, it actually is probably going to be a little bit easier than the last problem. Okay. Our volume is going to be the integral from, we're rotating about a vertical line again, so our, our bounds are still going to be uh, with respect to x, and we just found those, that's 1 and 3. Okay, we have our 2 pi, and we need to find our radius. All right, that's just going to be the distance from our vertical cuts to the axis of rotation. Okay, and now you got to think about it in a different way. So our distance from here to our cuts is going to be x, right? But we want to find the distance from to here, okay? So what we have to do is we do x minus this distance, which is going to be 1, okay? So we get x minus 1. Okay, and then we need to find our height. All right, our height is going to be the distance from whatever, wherever this is to y equals 3. All right, so to do that, we know that we have a 4x minus x squared, and we need to subtract the distance from here to here, which is 3. So we subtract 3, we got our dx there. All right, from there, we're going to distribute all of that, and then we have a little integral that we're going to uh, evaluate, or integrate and then evaluate. So we get uh, 4x squared, we're going to get a negative x cubed minus 3x minus 4x plus x squared plus 3 dx. Volume is going to equal 2 pi, integral from 1 to 3. Uh, combining like terms here, we have a 4x squared and a plus x squared. Uh, we also have a minus x cubed before that. So 5x squared, uh, so we're done with that, done with that, done with that, um, minus 7x plus 3 dx, volume equals 2 pi. Now we can integrate, okay? So we're going to get negative x to the fourth over 4 plus, this gets raised to a 3, comes out front, flipped, so 5 over 3 x cubed, we get a minus 7 over 2 x squared plus 3x, and that's going to be evaluated from 1 to 3. All right, so now here comes the, the really nice part, <laughs> and by that I mean this, this sucks, uh, doing your evaluation when you don't have something that's like a zero here so it doesn't kill everything off. All right, you're going to get your volume equals 2 pi times negative 3 to the 4th over 4 plus 5 to the 3 or 5 over 3 times 3 to the 3rd minus 7 halves 3 squared plus 3 times 3 minus oh I'm not gonna have enough room for this <laughs> um, you're going to get a actually this is going to be easier because you just have a 1 here so you're going to get a negative 1 fourth plus 5 over 3, minus 7 halves, plus 3. Okay, because you just have that x is 1, it's going to become meaningless, so you're just going to get your coefficients. Okay, I'll save you all the trouble of going through that. Okay, uh, volume equals 2 pi times 4 thirds. All right, that's what that ends up being, which is going to give you uh, 8 pi over 3. Okay. So really, your hardest part, okay, all your calc 2 in this problem was forming this integral, okay? If you form that integral, great, you've done your calc 2, okay? And of course, this graph stuff, this piece right here, this is not really, it's not, you know, that's not really calc 2, okay? That's just finding um, your, you know, your radius and your height, which that is calc 2, but then you're figuring out what region you're talking about okay that's just you know that's just uh like wherever you learn that in i don't know algebra or something like that okay so it's really not that hard it's just uh, a lot of different steps that you need to remember okay so that does it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one